So before I put down any shadows, I like to conceal my eyelids using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Porcelain. Not only does this conceal any discoloration you may have on your lids, but it also creates a really good base for your eyeshadows. And before I put any shadows on, I will set this in place just to make sure that it's not tacky and the eyeshadows blend out really nicely without being patchy. Then to start off the look, I'm taking Tempera and I'm just going to be putting this under my brow bone to give it a subtle highlight and this is just a matte shade. Then I'm going in with Burnt Orange in the crease and I'm just going to be putting this from one side to the other. This is very, very pigmented as you can see, which is what I really love about this palette a little. Certainly it goes a long way. Then I'm taking the shade Real Gar. Real girl. I don't even know how to say it. And taking this on more of a dense brush and really packing this into the crease. This is more of a very, very orange shade, whereas before it was just kind of a lesser orange. But this is a really intense orange shade. And I'm just putting this right in the crease and dragging it all the way through from one side to another. Then, of course, you just want to blend those two together because you don't want any harsh lines. Just a very nice, soft transition. Then I am taking my Jumbo Eye Pencil by NYX and covering my lid with that except leaving the outer corner and then I'm going to cover it in this beautiful highlight shade called Premier, Primava, I literally cannot pronounce it, but I'm just patting this all over the lid and if you put this white base down, I did a whole video on it, um, it just increases the pigment but not that this palette needs it, it is just so buttery and pigmented. Then on that little space that we didn't fill in with the white eye pencil, I'm going to be putting Cypress Umber in the corner just to really, really deepen the crease. Then I'm just going to clean that line up with a makeup wipe or you can use um, some tape which I use in the next tutorial. And then I'm just going to be taking some liquid eyeliner. This is from Kmart and I think it's like $2 but it is the best liquid liner I've ever used. It stays on all day. And so I'm just doing a classic wing with this one because we're going to go in with some falsies. So before you do that, obviously you want to put the mascara on to blend your lashes. I like to do this first because I don't like to put mascara on the falsies. So these are the falsies I'm using. They have a Cara Lashes. I will leave them down below. And I'm just popping this on with some black eyelash glue. Then I'm going to be taking that burnt orange shade again, which is what we use for the transition. And I'm going to be putting this under my lash line, as well as putting some mascara on my lower lashes as well, just to even out the look completely. And that is this first look. I think this is one of my favorite ones. It is just so beautiful and like champagne-y, but bronzy and like a really burnt orange as well at the same time. So I think they all just tie in really nice together. It's beautiful. On to the next look, I'm doing that same thing that we just did, which is concealing and then putting powder over the top. Then I'm going to be taking this nice brown shade called Paw Serena. Raw Serena? Raw Serena, I think it is. And I'm going to be putting that in the crease. Then taking a really, really dense brush, I'm going to be taking Love Letter and really packing that into the crease. As you noticed, I put down some tape so this doesn't go everywhere and it's really kind of combined, but I'm only putting this on the outer corner of my lids and kind of blending it into the crease a little bit. Then I didn't get footage of this, but I got it on a flat top brush and I packed it into the center, but leaving out, uh, no sorry, I packed it into the front corner and left the center completely bare and then I'm just blending this now into the crease where we had that original color. Once you've blended that all together, I'm just going in with that white jumbo eye pencil again, which I'll have linked down below. And then I took the shade Primavera, I legit cannot pronounce this for the life of me, and I put packed this completely over the center. I went over the lines a bit because then I went back in with Love Letter and kind of like transitioned it out so it wasn't such like a stark difference between the two. And then of course I took a big fluffy brush and blended those all together again. Then of course I just did a classic winged eyeliner. Using the tape really really helps with this and then I took my mascara. This one is by BH Cosmetics and is really really good for separating your lashes. But as I said I don't like to do this with mascara, no, with false lashes on. I don't know what I'm rambling on about. So yeah I just put these lashes on. These are the same ones as we used before. 
And then once you've done that, I did my makeup completely and I took the shade, oh my god, oh my god, what is the shade? I took the shade Red Orchid and then I took the shade Vermeer, which is a stunning white color. And I put that in the corner and I put Red Orchid underneath the lid just to kind of even this look out completely. And this is kind of a halo eye and I think it looks so good. For the next look, I am obviously taking that concealer again. I use this in every single look. It just makes a perfect base, if you, especially if you don't like using or have any eye, eyelid primer. So first off, I am taking Burnt Orange. This is the perfect transition shade, so I'm using this literally in everything. So I'm just blending that into the crease, but I'm blending this one kind of higher up than normal. Then I'm going to go in with that shade Rilga again, which is a really, really orange. And I'm going to be taking this on a fluffy blending brush and blending this directly into the crease. And also I'm going to be taking this a little bit higher because this is going to be a more orangey look. But I just wanted to raise it up kind of closer to the top of my eyebrows than I normally would. If that makes any sense, it probably doesn't. Then I'm gonna be taking Cypress Umbar and I'm gonna be taking this on a angled brush and brushing it through my crease but also kind of getting it on my lid a bit more if that makes any sense. Then I'm just blending these colors all together. You can take any more of the transition shade if that helps you. Then, of course, I didn't get any footage of this but I took a red orchid and packed that all over my lid and then I put Love Letter right in the center of my lid just to give it kind of that pop like it. It's not very noticeable on camera, but it definitely is in person. Then I just blended all those colors together because you just want it to be like super seamless and just them have transitioned into each other so perfectly. Then I did some winged liner and now I'm just preparing my lashes for falsies and putting mascara on. Then I took these stunning lashes, I forgot which ones these are but I'll have them linked down below and I thought these were just a bit shorter and less dramatic, they didn't have any wings on them so I just wanted the colours on the lid to stand out a bit more so I chose a less dramatic lash. But obviously these lashes are still pretty full which is what I like about them so I popped those on and waited for the glue to dry. Then I popped this beautiful stark white tempura it's not really stark white but it is a matte and yeah that is it for that look i hope you enjoyed all these tutorials thank you for watching bye